Hello, hello, sisters and brothers. My name is Tracy, coming right back to share some more words of encouragement with you guys. I'm so excited. I'm so excited this morning. Listen, happy Thursday. Thank you so much to my new and old subscribers alike. Listen, you guys, um, we made it to over a thousand subscribers. Okay, I'm so excited. I'm so grateful to the Lord. I love what I do. I'm grateful for this platform. I am grateful for you guys. I'm grateful for your prayers, the seeds you've sown, the words of encouragement. It means so much to me. I'm not a huge like, you know, celebration kind of person. Um, I I'm grateful for every day, you know, even with my birthdays coming up, when my birthdays were coming up and I had birthdays or whatever, I wasn't a huge party person in that regard okay but this is one that i will celebrate so um i don't know sometime this week next week i'll have my little balloons and some pictures over in the community post okay but thank you guys so much again Whew, okay listen 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 yes this is another kingdom spouse word and i want to say i'm sorry but I, I really can't, okay? Because, you know, sister girl got to give whatever God gives me to give y'all. And if you say give kingdom spouse word, kingdom marriage, God ordained marriage, however you say it, that is what I have to do. Listen, one of, some someone posted in the comments and actually they do it, you know, a few times on my videos when I talk about um, God ordained marriages, they put in there, you know what, they don't want to hear it. They tired of hearing it. Or things of that nature, God does, I mean, America does not do arranged marriages. Well, I'm not talking about America. I am talking about God ordained, okay? God arranging our um, our weddings. And so, you know what? I had to laugh. I didn't block them or I didn't do anything like that. I didn't say anything ugly when they just put those things. Because what I'm realizing and probably believing is there's probably something else going on with them, you know? They could be hurt, okay, or have been hurt before. Or, or maybe, you know, we, we just don't know what it is. So um, I am praying for this person and things like that. So I didn't block them. Somebody said block them. I'm like, no, you know, no. Maybe they're talking and, and say, coming from a place of hurt or disappointment. I don't know that. But I pray that um, whatever the case is, that God would bless them and show him himself mighty in their life. Okay. So, but again, you guys, I do understand it does get overwhelming. Um, at the end of the day. Uh, don't click on them. <laughs> I, I mean, I don't know what to say. Don't click on them. Don't watch them. You know, you are at liberty to block me if you want to. I'm, I'm working for the Lord. So I'm not out to get all stressed out about somebody unsubscribing or leaving. This is God's business right here. So, you know, if it becomes too much, which I do understand, believe me, I do. Now, what I do is I just take a break from my YouTube. I, I you know, that was before I'm good now, but um, before I would just take a break. It's good to take a break anyways. So if you feel that your, your timeline or whatever is being flooded and bombarded with kingdom spouse and God ordained spouse words and messages and videos and what have you, Hey, I, I say, take a pause and stop stop watching them or just take a pause from YouTube. Okay. Um, seriously, that is the thing. Listen, you guys, it took a long time to, for my channel to get here. I started last year in January, but the Lord had to let me know that it was not about subscribers. Okay. It was not about the number of subscribers I had, but it was about a platform that he give, gave me. Okay. That he has given me to share, um, kingdom words. Okay. To share his word, to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ. So we can't despise the day of small beginnings. When God say, it's your time, it's your time. And listen, I don't care nothing about, about um, algorithms or what, however YouTube does. I don't, I don't even know. I, I have no clue. But God supplies increase. Some of the channels he allowed just to take off. I mean, like nine months, you had 100K. That's God's business. That's God's doing. And others, he take us through slowly. Listen, there's a reason, okay? There's a reason. Let's not get it twisted and make sure we stay focused um, on the uh, the work at hand, okay? Which is the kingdom of God, amen? I am about my father's business. Listen, when you guys sow into here, when you give your seed, I pray over it. Hallelujah, I pray over it, all right? That God would grant you the desires of your heart, all right? Whatever request you have, that's what I'm praying for, okay? God's will be done in your life, hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Listen, let me get into it. Like I said, this is another uh, kingdom spouse word. It is what it is. So listen, I, the Lord was giving me 
um, the word mountain. And probably since um, the word mountain, since like July 28th, I was, sister girl was not catching on. I said, God, I don't know what you're saying. I don't know what this means. He also gave me the number 304 and a song. So let me see if I can just wrap this in. Um, I'm getting hot in this car. Let me turn my air on. I hope it won't be too loud. Um, let me see if I can put this and, and give it out to you guys the way that um, the Lord has given it to me. Let me say this real quick. You know, I, I didn't want the video to be too long, but I'm going to start worrying about that too at some point. I have on my shirt and it says created to fit out. Let me tell you guys something. Um, I used to be the one who was so concerned about what everybody thought. I wanted to do what pleases somebody else. I wanted to be liked. I wanted some validation from people. The Lord delivered me. So now I can be unapologetically Tracy. I want to tell someone, because somebody needs to hear it. You be you. The, the you that God created you to be. Okay? Quirks and all. Okay? Eccentric. Okay. But be you. God created you that way. I didn't fit in at church and I didn't fit in in the world. Sister just wasn't fitting in, okay? But that's okay. God created me to fit out. Amen. In the name of Jesus. This is going to be on my my um um in my store whenever the Lord released me. So, anyways, let's get into it. So, listen you guys. So, the Lord was giving me mountain, the number 304 and a song. And when he gave me the word mountain, I just wasn't getting it. And again, that was July 28th, you know, and I'm like, I don't know. I don't know. But one thing the Lord started letting me know this morning, I'm like, okay, Lord, what is this? I, I would love to bring this word together. I want to know what you're saying. And so the Lord was letting me know one thing about these kingdom marriages, about these God ordained unions. There is nothing. And I mean, no thing that is going to get in the way of what God is doing in regards to these unions, nothing and no one is going to get in the way okay he is going to level the plane amen and so um so in isaiah 40 y'all let me get my bible in isaiah 40 and 4 it says every valley shall be exalted and every mountain and hill shall be made low every crooked um every crooked shall be made straight and the rough place is plain but of course what stood out and the reason the lord gave me this scripture this morning is that every mountain and hill should be made low. Let me tell you something. God will level that thing down. If you get in the way, if anything or anyone gets in the way, what God is doing in regards to these unions, let me tell you something. He's bringing them down. He's leveling them just like a plane. And you guys know a plane is a flat place. All right? It ain't going to stand. Amen. That was one of the first things that the Lord gave me. Okay? Because like I said... When it, I'm like, Lord, I'm not getting it. Mountains, I don't know what you're saying about mountains. Even with the song that he gave me, ain't no mountain high enough. We're going to get into that a little bit later. I said, Lord, I am befuddled, okay? <laughs> I'm befuddled, okay? I'm confused. I'm perplexed. I don't know what you're saying. And so the Lord began, began to give it to me and explain to me what he's talking about. It's a kind of two-part thing in regards to mountains. One, no mountain. Nothing, no one is going to stand in the way. God is going to level that. He ain't playing around. Okay, you're not getting in the way. Anyone, anything, don't worry about it, you guys. Nothing is going to get in the way of your God ordained spouse and you coming together. Nothing, period, point blank. Amen, amen. Um, and so um, the second thing the Lord was letting me know about the God ordained spouses, they had to climb some mountains, okay? They had to go through some things and they did not stop. You guys hear me? They continue to climb up and up and up. They have risen to the occasion. You hear me? All right. So I don't know exactly what the thing was. God did not tell me anything specifically about what they had to go through, um, the mountains that they had to climb and the things that they had to get over. He let me know that they have done and are getting over it. Okay. For whomever this word is for, because it can't be for everybody. That's just not how this works. All right, you got to know. Okay, this is going to resonate in your spirit. That's because God has already told you. Amen. Amen. So they um they they ain't playing now. Their minds are made up. They know that you two are supposed to be together because God said so. So they have gotten through this. And, and I mean they had to get through some things. 
And so I don't know. Um, let me make sure I'm not getting ahead of myself. So they have ascended, okay? They have risen to the occasion. Nothing is stopping them, and they are ready, sweetheart. They are coming to get you. All right, amen. So with the number 304, it means a going up or an ascent. Okay, now in um, the Strong's Concordance, it did talk about going up some stairs or some steps, but God highlighted ascent, to ascend. So ascent is um, the act of rising or mounting up, okay? It says a climb or a walk to a summit of a mountain. The, that, and that's talking about the apex, all right? Hallelujah. I hope y'all catching this in the spirit. They're talking about the very top, the apex of, of the mountain, the top of it. Let me tell you, your kingdom spouse has got it. They have arisen to the occasion. Nothing stopped them. They continued to climb and allow God to do a work in them if that was what needed to happen, okay? Again, I don't know what that thing was. I don't know what they were conquering, getting over, what have you. God did not reveal that. He was just saying they have arrived or arriving, okay? They coming, y'all. Amen. Amen. And so I was like, oh, wow, that's amazing. And God also let me know that's also um, a level of elevation for them and for you, but for them, all right? They have elevated hallelujah in the name of jesus like i said they have risen to the occasion and now they are ready for you all right amen amen they have made it so the law the song that the lord gave me um that he kept giving me was ain't no mountain high enough now we know and i know the song because it was sang by diana ross that is not where the lord took me he took me to the one that was by Marvin Gaye and Tammy Terrell. I did not know that until I looked it up the other day. Okay. Amen. And so one of the reasons he gave me that one is because it was a male and a female. Hallelujah. God is so amazing. Right. And I'm like, I, I didn't get it at first. Amen. It's because it a male and a female. And he highlighted that. Why? Because he's trying to be very clear that this union is between a man and a woman. Hallelujah and praise the Lord. Okay, so that's it. And you guys, the first song that came up as I Googled and searched it was um, the, the um, what do you call it? The thumbnail on this particular video was the thumbnail of a cassette tape. Now, listen, I'm in my 50s. Let me tell y'all something real quick, real quick, real quick. I am going to be a senior citizen in a few months. My mind is blown. I'm like, what? I feel, I still feel young and youthful. You know what I'm saying? And not that that's old. I'm just saying like, that's so funny. Um, but I will take advantage of the discounts. Amen. So anyways, so listen, so on the cover of the cassette tape, um, and if you guys don't know what a cassette tape is, because you might be a little too young, Google it, go check, go check it out, go check it out. Um, and it said awesome mix. And that stood out. I'm like, awesome mix volume one. Okay. Okay. Awesome mix. God said, the two of you together is going to be an awesome mix. Okay, you got, oh my goodness. You're going to be the perfect mix of talents, of characters, because you're going to complement each other. You know what I'm saying? Of gifts. You're going to be the perfect mix of these things together. Hallelujah. I hope y'all got that because because I really felt it in, in, in my spirit when I looked. I said, wow, the perfect mix. You're going to be an awesome mix. All right, of character, of gifts, of talents. It's they're gonna come together perfectly. Okay, amen. Amen. I'm not saying without issue because everybody have problems. So listen, he or she is coming together. They have climbed the mountain, okay? They have ascended and nothing stood in their way, and nothing is standing in their way because now they know that this is meant to be. That is the word. I pray that it made sense. I pray that you guys got it. Um, and actually who it's for, I know you got it. Amen. 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 So, um, so let me see. I wrote something else down. I thought that was it. Okay. Um, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Let me see here. Oh, you know what? And another thing, if you guys know anything about, um, mountain climbing, now, not that I, I, I ain't climb no mountains. I'm not that kind of girl. I don't like bugs and dirt and grass. I, I, I just don't. I'm sorry. Um, and that's funny too, cause we, I, I come from the country, <laughs> but that was so long ago. But anyways, um, um, nothing's going to stop them. So if you know anything about mountain climbing, it is hard. That means you have to be determined. Amen. You have to be determined to reach the apex. You have to be determined to reach the top. You can't stop in the middle. You know what I'm saying? 
these spouses continue to climb and they have risen to the occasion, all right? They have made it to the top and they are coming. Hallelujah, hallelujah. It was a great feeling. They feel good about it. They are excited about it, that they have finally made it and they now get to pursue, amen? So amen. So that's the word I wanted to make sure I did not leave that out. They're coming. They're ca they conquered their mountain. Okay, nothing was going to stop them. And guess what? God is not going to allow anything to stand in the way of these unions. You guys, that is the word. Okay, ain't no mountain high enough. Uh, no wind, no rain can stop. You know, amen. You guys know the song. I ain't going to sing it. If you don't know it, go listen to it. Go listen to it. I was like, hey. Okay, so anyways, let me get off of here. Stop acting silly. I'm, I got a lot of energy this morning. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> So I'm excited. I'm excited about what's got, what God is doing. Listen, that is the word for today. You guys be blessed. I love you so much. Jesus loves you so much more. If you are new in Christ, enjoy your new life with him. Sweetheart, it is the best decision that you could ever make. All heaven is rejoicing with you. If by chance you have fallen away you and you're just now coming back, it's okay. I'm so glad. I'm so glad you're back. Enjoy your renewed life with Christ. It is the best decision that you could ever make. And yes, all heaven is rejoicing with you too. May the spirit of the living God rest upon you and your family. You all be blessed. Enjoy your day. And listen, they are coming. They have conquered whatever mountain they needed to conquer. Okay? They, they got it, y'all. They got it. Amen. You guys be blessed. I love you. Until next time, keep your head up and be uniquely you.